The copy of Super Monkey Ball Banana Mania featured in today's review is provided courtesy of Sega. It is hard to believe that the Super Monkey Ball franchise has hit its 20th anniversary. I remember a few friends being absolutely in love with the original game back on GameCube and having a good time with its multiplayer modes. That being said, I have never really played any game in the franchise outside a few minutes here and there. When Super Monkey Ball Banana Mania was announced and that it was compiling together over 300 levels from Super Monkey Ball 1, 2, and Deluxe, it seemed like the perfect opportunity to finally give the franchise a real try. And I'm glad I did. As someone who hasn't frequented the Super Monkey Ball franchise, I wasn't sure what to expect as I began my playthrough of the game's story mode, which is pulled directly from Super Monkey Ball 2. After a few minutes of adjusting to the way the game controls, as you control the environment instead of the characters, I was able to start completing some levels. There is a good learning curve in getting your chosen monkey from the beginning of a course to the end of one, especially if you want to collect as many bananas as possible along the way. It really doesn't take long for things to ramp up though, and I found myself failing courses quite a number of times before finally getting through. And of course, as you progress, you get introduced to even more outlandish obstacles and traps to overcome. The problem solving that Super Monkey Ball has you doing is quite intriguing to me, as sometimes the solution is as simple as going faster, while others require a more deliberate press of a switch and careful pacing. Regardless, getting to the end feels like an accomplishment, especially with the ever-present timer at the top of the screen, ready to kill your run if you take too long. As you get further into the game, you'll be introduced to alternate exits for you to go after. These exits are typically harder to get to and will push your navigating limits to the test with either crazy traps or razor-thin pathways. The challenge involved to get to some is... bananas. See what I did there? And so far, I have only accomplished a handful as I typically give up and go for the traditional exit. This does lead to a bit more replay value as you can always come back and try again at any time. Though to be fair, with 300 plus levels and multiplayer modes to play, Super Monkey Ball Banana Mania is definitely not hurting for replay value. Speaking of multiplayer, I have been having a blast playing the minigames with the kids. There are a number of games to choose from like pool, races, and even dogfighting. While the main game is great for its difficulty and the challenge maps test your abilities, multiplayer party modes are definitely where it is at in this household. By the way, for any of you out there who have younger kids wanting to play the main game, you can enable a helper mode that makes it far more approachable. Super Monkey Ball Banana Mania is a nice looking game. Rather than an HD remaster of the older titles on which it is based, the game has been rebuilt from the ground up in the Unity engine. While not as detailed as other modern games, I think the art style being used here is a perfect throwback to the original while still looking like something modern. Courses and backgrounds are eye-catching but not distracting, and the feeling of speed as you send your monkey flying down a course is represented well. I also really enjoy the ball in which your monkey is placed as its two-tone shell looks fun in motion. The soundtrack for Banana Mania is also very upbeat and catchy, giving the game a fun vibe as you progress through it. And that title screen! What a song to get started on. Effects like bumping into walls or other objects also sound great. Nearly every voice line in the game is presented in its original Japanese form, so that will either be a plus or annoyance based on your own personal tastes. As mentioned previously, there is a ton of content in Super Monkey Ball Banana Media scattered across its story, challenge, and multiplayer modes. In addition to this, there are numerous cosmetic and unlockable items to earn by completing the game. This really encourages going back and collecting extra bananas in each course if you want to get some fun things. Then there are the online leaderboards you can compete in to get the best times worldwide. I think my only real concern about Super Monkey Ball Banana Mania is with its optional DLC content. While the Deluxe Edition comes with everything out of the gate, I feel this should have just been the norm. Having extra cosmetics and tracks pieced out for additional downloads to base game owners on day one doesn't really inspire a purchase. This is seriously a practice we need to move away from in the industry. It is also very annoying that you have to enable the game's helper mode on every single individual level, instead of it being a global setting. As a Super Monkey Ball newcomer, I have been having so much fun with Banana Mania and think it makes an excellent starting point for any newcomers to the series. You get challenging gameplay, loads of content, and a fun multiplayer mode all for a great starting price. Thanks to the game's helper function, it is also a game anyone can pick up and play, like my 4 year old who has been making steady progress through the story. Unfortunately, a number of extras have been taken from the game to be used as pointless DLC. But such is the world we live in at the moment. If you have ever been curious about the franchise, give this one a look. 
And there we have it, my thoughts on Super Monkey Ball Banana Mania. Thank you again to Sega for sending this out my way so I could check it out. This was a really cool experience to finally be able to jump into the Monkey Ball franchise with this cool compilation of the various first games of the franchise. But for those of you out there that have played Super Monkey Ball for a long time, what are your thoughts on Banana Mania? I'd love to hear that. Leave me a comment down below and let me know what you thought of this compilation. I'd love to hear from you. It's always good to get some discussion in about these reviews just to see what other people might have thought. I think that's great. I love, I love discussions of this type. But I do have a couple of favors to ask of you as well. If you haven't already, be sure to hit that thumbs up, thumbs down button, just depending on how much you like today's review. And if you haven't done so already, hit that sub button so you can see when new videos go live on the channel. Lots of reviews and other things coming your way as we approach the holiday season. And I'm just looking forward to sharing it all with you and I want you along for the ride. And for those of you that might be interested in further helping to support the channel, you can also check out that join button here on YouTube or that Patreon link over in the bottom right hand corner of the screen. Big, big, big shout out to all of our current backers. Y'all are rock stars. Thank you for believing in what we do here, being our champions, and just helping us keep this place going and supporting it. Just y'all rock so much. Thank you so much. But that's going to do it for this one. So until next time, my wonderful internet peeps, you all stay awesome, and we'll see you back next video.